Okay, gang, it's the next day and Chris has framed in the door. And today we are going to put gap filler and hang up the... Hang up the thermometer. Uh, yes, thermometer. <laughs> Um, and we also have some cracks in our plexiglass doors. So we're going to have to kind of come up with solutions for how we're going to cover those and keep drafts from coming in. So, so this is the second part and hopefully today we're going to get this thing pretty tight so that we can start ranging out our temperatures. So let's get started. Well, there you have it. We used, I think it's called, is that great stuff or gap filler? Uh, hold on one second. It is called great stuff, <laughs> we used... gaps, and cracks. <laughs> 
We used Great Stuff Gaps and Cracks and um, it took almost two bottles. We have a little bit left that we're gonna uh, put, I think, on the other side of the door. Chris used, which I did not catch on camera, I'm sorry, but you, you used, um, what on the corner? Gr gorilla Glue. Gorilla Glue. He used Gorilla Glue uh, for the, the plexiglass in the corner. Actually, let me show you. The plexiglass in the corner is cracked and broken. So he put Gorilla Glue on that and we gap filled the rest of the stuff on the doors. And so, so we're gonna let that dry, how long? Uh, the, the Gorilla Glue? Yeah. For two hours. For two hours and then we're gonna come back and gap fill like that side of the door. But essentially we kind of filled all the gaps, didn't we? Mm -hmm. It kind of looks that way. For, for the most part. For the most part. There might be a couple little things that we have to do. Um, it's sort of funny because as we were doing this, we saw that, uh, that our son, who did a wonderful job, didn't he? He did. <laughs> he did an absolutely wonderful job. But on the north side of this greenhouse, at the very bottom where the siding goes into the frame, he just didn't attach that. <laughs> so we're going to have to, another day, not today, we're gonna to have to come back around with some nails or screws and, and screw that all into the frame because there is definitely a ton of cold air coming out of there, huh? Yeah. So, okay, we are done in here for today. We're gonna to keep an eye on the thermometer because it is still not at its lowest yet. So what we're trying to do is figure out what the lowest temperature is in here. And then we'll know, do we just need a little space heater? Do we need, you know, we'll put one space heater in first and then we'll see. And I know, I know guys, it, it's a fire hazard. We know, don't we? <laughs> yeah, we know, we know. <laughs> but there's, um, <clears throat> there is no one in here and there is rock flooring so um it'll it'll be fine and we're gonna put it up on a on a metal shelf so if it even falls over i mean sparks and everything can always happen so but we're gonna put one space heater in here first see what our lows are with one space heater and then keep adding heat as needed so you guys can help us like if, give us suggestions on heating this greenhouse just slightly we just want it to stay like what around 50 50 yeah 50 at days. night 50 at night, through the day, hopefully it's warmer, but that's our goal so that we can start planting just normal plants and and uh, and and utilize this wonderful greenhouse. So, so remember, so if, if we, we can cold proof, proof our, our greenhouse, greenhouse anybody, anybody can. can. <laughs> Thanks, bye. bye.